seeing it 33%, but again, I'm still seeing, you know, I know some players with some LGM or 04 would go down very quickly. Yes. And I, I would say in some cases, 04 is lucky that this is not an international uh, tournament because that would be, uh, I, I think, you know, if you ran into someone like, obviously, Strengths, Avec, uh, he'd be in a lot of trouble. But of course, let's just remind everyone that currently the we have two amazing Americans currently holding the titles uh, that are uh, of the biggest LAN events uh, so far. Obviously, uh, the, the big question mark is going to come when we start to see uh, the Americans get a chance to play the Europeans in some upcoming tourneys. Obviously, I think I think the next big mm -hmm. one is going to be um, the ESL. I am. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Intel Extreme Masters, so that, that'll be a great thing to see. But then, of course, we also have a lot of other things coming up soon. I know that uh, DJ Weech working hard at getting Devastation uh, set up so that they can stream Quake yes. Live. And um, that's... is that... May, I think? I, I honestly don't remember. Like yeah, there's actually a lot going on with Devastation, and I might yeah. be looking to get in on some of that action myself. Um, yeah. Of course, we're going to be seeing a lot of games. Quake Live being included, of course. Street Fighter 4 is also going to be a big deal. Um, we might see some StarCraft 2 added to that mix. Yeah, which I wouldn't mind, considering the beta is out. Oh my god, with 5 health, 0 4 survives, uh, and that's uh, just uh. ridiculous. You know, cyber has got to be and just again, punching here, himself in yeah, the nuts. This is exactly... There we go. <laughs> Finally. That's the kind of play we needed to see from Staiwu a long time ago. Because, you know, as many players will mention, you know, if you die and you have less than, you know, 100 health, no armor, uh, somebody who spawns on top of you, he's going to have superior stack for yeah. just that amount of time. So you need to push that. Yeah, and, and here, though, the uh, plus back from 04, extremely well done. Uh, he manages to get away, and he's going to potentially cross the map to get some armor and no instead he's going to uh hoof it back although he might be out on this mega let's see Saiwu spots him and has position yeah so he's out on this mega nice choice by Saiwu but doesn't hit any of that LG so you know yeah I was really when, mark, so. <laughs> when Saiwu has an opportunity uh and that really was his uh he was missing shots so Rough, rough break for him, and uh, 22 to 3, zero 4 is uh, really solid here with about 45 seconds left to go. There's really nothing that can stop him. Yeah, when you're the down player on T9, of course, you know, all the other maps, the experience you get from that is that you need to slow things down a little bit, you know, suck back to the defender's side of the map, grab some yellow armor, but here, really, it's all about the balls. If you're the down player, you need to do that damage. Oh, there's zero 4 <laughs> hurting himself a little bit. And Stai was going to get a last hurrah, but that means Stai was going down to the LB04, moving on, of course. Yeah. Now, uh, Ravager reminded me that Devastation is in uh, countdown T minus uh, 118 days. So, do the math. There you go. All right. Uh, one more update there. Zero 04 is going to be moving on to round two against KM Ray, who knocked out John. And Ray, as we all know, has been the multiple-time winner of Quake America, which we've, we've been streaming on Saturdays here. Quake America staff, actually, I want to give a big shout-out to Amp, because they're saying, you know what, in light of Silent Gamers going on at the same day, we're going to skip a week and make sure that these guys get all the attention they need. Right so, on. Way to be awesome. Now, we actually have uh, the next match ready to go, guys, so just sit tight while I uh, make the screen go blank so I can type in the next password. <laughs> and uh, we'll get this underway as soon as we can. We're back in this, ready for, I uh, guess, what is yet another round one that we'll be covering. It'll be Chance versus Gator. Should be a good time. And the winner of this will be going up in round two against Rafa, who knocked out BLT. Oh, BLT didn't show? Oh, we. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, seeing this match will let us know who's going to be playing Rafa in round two. So I think most people right. will put their money on it being Chance versus Rafa, but that's one of the reasons why we want to take a look at it to see if that is going to be the case indeed. So uh, looks like we're going to be playing a little bit of uh, Furious Heights. That'll be good times. I think that um, Chance, in my opinion, is one of those kind of hot and cold players. He can be either amazing and and 
kind of blow your mind. Or, uh, his luck kind of takes a turn for the worst, and, and you kind of wonder, uh, you know, what, what the hell happened. But, uh, <laughs> hopefully we'll see awesome chance right now, so. Yeah, and just as an aside, speaking of volatile players, Walter was planning on being here, but his computer, just like last week during Quake America, decided to take a major dump. And so I'm actually sorry not to see him here today. We're gonna, we're gonna do a little bit of a, um, a poll to see... This is an IRC poll, so if you're in PoundQL.tv or if you're in Pound Silent Gamers, you want to watch Chance versus Gator Smash? Or vampire versus Everkill. Type in your your choice now. Prepare this is about to go fight. live, so you got like five seconds to make a choice. If, if you know the countdown Three, ends, two, we'll discover this. One. My <laughs> vote counts for everything. All right. <laughs> I think I think the results are in. All right. Uh, that's so the way to go. go. Chance on. <laughs> I almost lost here. We got Chance up on top of the pillars. Red armor being grabbed by him. All he's rocking right now is rocket launcher, grenades, and plasma gun. Picking up that rail gun in the puddle, but that's going to be slowing him down a little bit. Gator, on the other hand, has yellow armor and a few shards after that, and mega health with the rocket launcher and LG. And baiting out Chance. Great initial damage, but Gator eats a rail. Make that two as Gator... <laughs> Holy shit, stop hitting those rails, Chance. <laughs> Gator got the red armor, but it got completely blown away by Chance's rails. And there's another one leaving Gator. Nice. Holy crap. Nice. <laughs> All right. He has uh, not let, missed let's, a single Jahar, not take, a, one. take a look at the accuracy. Not one. Yeah, that's 100% uh. folks. 100 motherfucking percent right there. That's some incredible shit. So yeah, Chance, I, I think I think he's feeling a little bit warmed up. Yeah, I, I think he'll be all right. <laughs> that was nice. Well, I, I think we made the right choice. Well, what do you think? <laughs> now I things have so kind of was worth seeing. yeah things things uh, kind of calmed down a little bit. Had a little bit of a lull in the action. Chance went silent as Gator went silent. So uh, he hits another one, keeping his 100% <laughs> railgun as status right now. So when will he miss? Do we, do we want to make bets on the time? All right. So type into IRC. Went on the clock. Oh. oh. Gator went negative one as he Gravity caters. netting yeah. the first frag of the day. <laughs> oh, here's the jump pad. chance the ability to grab a full stack here. Gator's been getting some nice initial shots with the rockets, nice. but now with the beautiful, beautiful air rocket there, just trading them left and right. Chance is going to be taking frag number two, putting him uh, three in the lead. Oh, there's his first uh, miss. And what a uh, there what kind of shot was that to miss anyway? Exactly. It was the easy one. It was too easy. That, that was why he missed it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there we go. Maybe he's listening to the stream and he's just like, oh man, they're talking about my rail. But yeah, he went from 100% <laughs> to 66% in, uh, what was that, four shots missed? So, yeah. <laughs> Still really solid though at the beginning, and uh, I, I don't think we've seen the last of his real game either. So uh, have no fear, it will definitely come back. Oh, that's a rocket to the face as Gator gets back to the goose egg. Let's go watch him because uh, potentially, after he picks up this 50, he can muscle in on Mega. He doesn't have position on it though. Nah, not gonna happen. Yeah, nice, nice move by Chance to make but sure that But he can that's just disregard this if he doesn't waste any time here. He can't get back over to red, but again, yeah. oh wow, and Chance is actually not there to attack. Well, and Chance probably wanted weapons. If we go and take a look at him, yeah, right. he, he's got himself an LG now, and he's uh, looking around the pillars to set a trap. And I don't think they know where each other are. Yeah, Gator's going silent. Oh, and there it is. There's the trap indeed. Ooh. We watched Gator run into it, but he still has position on red. He might be able to get it. Three, two, oh. and I don't know if that was his connection or what, but uh, had a little nah, bit that of was a his. I was wondering the set. same thing. Okay, yeah. I think he was feeling very fortunate. That, that, yeah, I think he's feeling very fortunate. Chance didn't press in for that red. Ten health, Gator. Needing to hit a rail. Getting out of this. And oh, get out of it. Finally. Not into the corner. Yeah. Now it's Chance though. Lucky, lucky spawn. Um, for Chance, I would say, for Gator to to spawn there. Because uh, Chance was able to muscle in on red. Had he spawned anywhere else, I think that uh, Gator could have gotten some weapons and maybe made a play for that red. Because honestly, Chance is not that 
stacked. 